We travel to Middlemore Hospital in Auckland to show our support for the nurses who are protesting the government's disgraceful mandates against our country's medical staff. All they want is freedom of choice and bodily autonomy. Here's what some of them had to say. Hey, what's your name? I'm, I'm Liz. Shannon. Shannon. Yeah. I love your outfit, Shannon. I love the hair, but most of all, I love the sign. Simple, truthful. This is what every Kiwi needs to do now, support our nurses. What brought you out, Shannon? Um, to support my friend. And what's she going through? Um, she has till Saturday to get her um, booster. Oh, oh she, yeah. no, she's a nurse. Yeah. So she's done what this Prime Minister said. She's had her two. The Prime Minister said two and you're done. Yeah. And now she's being told, oh, two isn't enough and you have our third or you lose your job. Yeah. That's right? Yeah. What sort of state is she in? Um, I don't know. I'm sorry, confusion, frustrated, not knowing what to do and also cares about her job as well cares yeah. about the patients yeah and we are being told that our nurses are under such strains the hospitals are bursting at the seams we haven't got enough and this prime minister says oh we'll bring in people from overseas yet she's mandating our kiwi nurses out of jobs yeah does it, any of this make sense to you anymore uh, no i lost my job in february so are and you... i've had covid and i'm not jabbed <laughs> but it's just like yeah and, and what was, were you in nursing healthcare as well? Um, I was um, supporting our community, like uh, facilitating programs and stuff, parenting programs and that, yeah. Shannon, how, how are you coping personally? Um, it wasn't well, my mental health was really, really, you know when you support people in mental health and then you go for yourself, oh it's my, not good. <laughs> how have you got through that? Um, just my kids. My partner, yeah. I say this to a lot of Kiwis who've been through cruelty. If you had for one minute a message, and it was Jacinda Ardern standing there, after all she's done to your friends, to your whanau, your family, to yourself, you had one minute to look down that camera and say something to her. What would that message be from your, your heart? Um, Jacinda, say Jacinda. Jacinda, I've had enough. <laughs> um, it really sucks to not work. Um, you need to like come and actually feel what we're going through. Um, I don't know what else. I just, yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, it's affecting our mental health, our children's mental health, and I think you just need to stop controlling us. And everybody else needs to wake up. Sorry. Yeah, that's it. Do you hug in COVID times? Yeah, I was hugging everyone here. So. We're going to change this. We're absolutely going to change yeah. this. Please, if anybody has a job that could help Shannon, please contact me urgently. It would be great to get you a job. Thank I'll be you. keeping an ear out. I love what I've done, and that was supporting people that was um, going through mental health, you know, um, mothers and parents that were struggling. Um, you know, to become better parents. So I really enjoyed facilitating and just supporting people. So yeah. if anybody was willing to put some money up to help Shannon get a little business going with that, that also could work. Yeah. Could you start a business like that from the ground up, do you think? Um, yes. I'm going to do my social work degree, so I start in July, so something part-time will be awesome. Lovely. Yeah. Good. Let's see what comes to us. Thank you, Thank Shannon. you. Thank you. Lovely. Nice to meet you. you love me. You spoke. I'm so glad. So Thank glad you. you spoke. Please email your support to nursesforfreedomnz at proton.me.